I mean, I think we're at a, a period when suddenly the echo chamber of education has had other people looking in on it. Parents, for example, recognising that schools are about far more than EBAC. Jeff Barton, who represents what I call hashtag brave school leaders. And these are school head teachers who do what they know is right. They do what they can for art and creativity because they believe in the power of that to inspire kids in their learning. I think that some of the language which is being used about catch up all the time and the covid or the even the lost generation and all that deeply unhelpful it isn't all about extra english and maths important as english and maths of course are it's about the other stuff the stuff that gives us a deep sense of humanity that's always been i think a rich part of the uk education tradition but it looked as if that was being lost just it, it seemed to us against that background of a language of deficit that what would be really good is instead of people talking about and characterising young people as the lost generation and stuff. Why don't we hear from young people themselves? And therefore, one of the things that we've proposed is that during the coming weeks, when they're doing their dance lessons, their drama lessons, their music lessons, their art lessons, their English lessons, why don't we try and capture some of that? Why don't we take photos of it or why don't we film some of it? And why don't we, on the 28th of May, which is the Friday before half term, why don't we have a, a festival of school and college arts in which the voice of young people is what fills Twitter and social media instead of the usual snarkiness, that we give them a chance to say, here we are, proud, resilient, creative, let our voices come through. And we're, we're, we're just encouraging schools and colleges across the UK, if they'd like to take part in that, to take part in it. And the response we've had across all the teacher unions and other organisations is what a simple but great idea. It's great for those young people that their voices will cut through, but also it sends out a message to the wider society. The arts matter more than maybe we realised. And as we are lifted from the box like the Blue Peter tortoise, blinking into a more optimistic future. Let's make sure we aren't marginalising the arts and they're absolutely simple. So Nick, that, that's it. I have to disappear.